chronotropic, dromo, bethmo, and inotropic. In order to understand these terms, we must know that how the signal is generated and forwarded towards the muscle fibers. Well, you know what sinoatrial node? It is responsible to the generate the impulse. Then this impulse will be sent towards the AV node. By means of bundle of phase, it will come towards the right left bundles, then Purkinje fibers. Then these Purkinje fibers will forward the impulse to the muscle fibers here. And these muscle fibers is if they receive the impulse, they will become excited. After the excitation, they will do the contraction. Got? So now these terms will be studied physiologically as like chronotropic, dromotropic, pathomotropic, and anotropic. So if the sinoatrial node fires very quickly or time and again, then we call that as uh, that heart rate is increased. And this heart rate is actually called as chronotropic effect. So this sinoatrial node is actually responsible to increase and decrease the heart rate and uh, which we call it as chronotropic effect. So both the terms are the same. These are just physiological terms and these are just literal terms. So if you say that the heart rate is increased, we call it that chronotropic effect, which one positive. And if the heart rate is decreased, we call it that negative chronotropic effect or negative heart rate. So which is depending upon the shooting of sinoatrial load. If sinoatrial load shoots too much or time and again, we call it as increased heart rate or positive chronotropic effect and if it is a shooting sinoatrial node is shooting less we call it as negative chronotropic effect or negative heart rate that's it now the signal will uh, go through the av node by means of certain velocity and this velocity is actually called as dromotropic effect if uh, the signal is moving with a very high velocity we call it as positive dromotropic effect and if it is moving with a less velocity or low velocity we call it as negative dromotropic effect that's it so then what is uh, supposed to happen with the signal the signal will reach here uh, by means of Purkinje fibers these will be provided to the muscle fibers and these muscle fibers as they receive the signal they will become active now these activated muscle fibers will become excited. So now the excitation is of two types. If the excitation is very high, we call it as positive excitation or positive bathmotropic effect. And if the excitation is very low, we call it as negative excitation or negative bathmotropic effect. That's it. Excitation, bathmotropic, same. Then we have, with, then after the excitation, you know, when the muscle fiber is excited, then it is supposed to do contraction. Now this contraction is of two types, strong and weak. So the strong force of contraction is known as positive anotropic effect and uh, the weak force of contraction is known as negative anotropic effect. So that's a little bit about the uh, rate or chronotropic effect, velocity, dromotropic effect, excitation, bathmotropic effect, force of contraction, anotropic effect. If still you have any kind of question regarding this topic, you can drop that in the comment box. We'll come for the answers very soon. Thank you.